You probably already know that one of the primary things Standard Time is used for is to scan barcodes on the shop floor in manufacturing to start and stop timer and collect time and materials. So let's go into this scan barcodes view and get a look at how it might work by actually scanning some barcode labels. But the first thing you might be asking is, well, where do I get the actual labels to scan? It turns out you can create those right in Microsoft Word. So what I've done here is just typed in some text and then go up to the font menu and choose the ID automation font and out they come on the printer and ready to scan in standard time. So let's go ahead and start by scanning a username and then a job and then a task. A timer has now started so let's deduct some inventory from stock and now the person can go off and start the work they do and when they come back they would scan the word stop it is now asking me for a quantity which I'll scan in and I've just collected time and materials with just a few scans if the employee goes off on a break or lunch and comes back and wants to start the same task they could again scan their username and then scan restart last job and the timer would restart very nice very simple and easy to use on the shop floor. Now, while we're in this view, I'd like to draw your attention to just a few more things. Let's go ahead and start by this little icon in the upper left corner. I'll click it and up pops a little menu of things you can do. The first thing I wanted to draw your attention to was barcode defaults. It turns out that you can set up some defaults for a scanning station so that people would scan less information. It just makes it a little bit easier. So if you have a certain scanning station or tablet that is dedicated to a certain employee or a job or a task or certain values, you could set up those defaults here and then that person would not need to scan those. The second thing I'll draw your attention to in this view is barcode required scans. You may remember that I had to scan a quantity. Well, it turns out that is just a required scan that I set up. So this is a way for you to extend or add to the number of things that Standard Time will ask for when scanning on the shop floor. So I simply set up one for quantity and it then asks me how many items I produced very simple way to collect additional information. So the third thing I'll draw your attention to from this view is a little standalone program called BC. It turns out you can collect all this time and materials with a little standalone program that you can deploy to tablets or laptops or small scanning stations on the shop floor instead of the full standard time program. So employees would simply scan and that is all they can do within the BC program. So there you have it, very simple way to collect time and materials and other information on the shop floor for manufacturing with barcode labels.